I'm gonna kill a fly. I'm gonna kill a fly. I got murder in my heart. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> What's up, taters? Ken Vandal here. By now, you've heard of the fly shot. And in case you don't know what a fly shot is, well, it's that thing right there. Now, to be clear, this is not a replacement for the slingshot. It's just something you can do when you're inside and you got a bunch of flies in the house and you got murder in your heart. And also, if your grandkids or your kids are acting up in the house, you can use this to corral them. And contrary to what some people believe, it does take some skill to pop a fly. Now, I gotta be clear again, I did not come up with this. However, this is my version of it. What I did a couple weeks back, I made a, a video of me playing around with my version and I, was, I had a ball. But shortly after the video, I began to get a lot of questions on how to make these things, in particular, the tassel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ways that I have come up with to make these tassels using cuffing. Now, as far as the rest of the build, Brother, that the sky is the limit. I have seen different things from different people. In fact, I've done some different things. I've got a little leather strap here. This one, I used a wood handle, got some cuffing on it, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And this one here, I took a deer antler, polished it up. Check that out. Wow. What you talking about, Willis? But there's many creative ways that you can finish this thing out. But today, we're not gonna focus on this end. We're gonna focus again on the tassel. Here's the quickest and easiest way that I found to make it. Let's go. Now before we get started, I'm gonna show you some things that you're gonna to need to make them like I make them. Now again, this is a way, it's not the way. Um, and this is in no order, but um, you'll need some paracord or whatever you wanna use for your tassel in. And I just got three pieces of uh, paracord and they're cut to five, uh, yeah, five inches, I think it is. Yeah, five inches. I just got three, you can do four, and I'll explain that later. Uh, I've got a small black rubber band here. Um, you can get these in the hair section at Walmart. You get a bag of a thousand for like two dollars. I mean, they, they're giving them away. Also, you need some tubing. Um, this is just a piece I cut off of, a, uh, obviously, a longer piece. It was just something I had in my uh, in my case. And that's what's cool about all this. You can make one of these with just junk you have laying around. Um, this is just a piece of tubing. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors right here. Um, a pencil or a ink pen, doesn't matter. Um, you just need something round, preferably. I'll show you what that's about in a minute. And this is optional, a straw. Um, and one more thing, if you got this, and this is going to make everything a lot easier a little later, is this is a castration band stretcher. Um, I got one of these off of uh, Amazon a while back. Uh, very cheap, but you can get them at Tractor Supply. Um, yeah, they're very cheap, but it makes the job a lot easier, and I'll show you. Okay, let's get started. First and foremost, just get your paracord, uh, paracord, your paracord that you have cut, pre-cut. I like I say, I cut mine to five inches, and I'm going to go to the halfway point. You can guesstimate it at this point. Take your pen, pencil, whatever you're using, and just wrap it around, and then eyeball it to see if they line up. Just got to get them close. If you have one that's a little longer than the other one, you want to just kind of pull it around just like that. Make sure they're pretty much centered and then just grip them just like that. That's the way it looks. That's what you want to do right there. Now, you take this black rubber band and you want to put it, this is tough to do this at this angle, you want to just wrap it around a couple times on this end of the tassel. And again, you don't have to be super tight, but just, uh, in fact, I could stop right there. Well, let me do it one more time. I'm going to do it one more time. Let's see. I think I can squeeze another one in there. There we go. All right, there we go. And just let it go. Now, you got that. Take it and just roll the rubber band and just roll it tight up against that pencil. Real tight, just like that. So that's what you got so far. Now, here's where the cuffing comes in. Now, there's a lot of ways you can do this. What I like to do is I just take the scissors and I just roll it on the scissors. Not that far down. Uh, just like that. <laughs> just like that. And then, and this can be a little stubborn, but once you get the hang of it, 
um, it rolls pretty quick. But I just take this and open it up, and then I need to thread it on this right here. So I'm going to try to do this like this. Basically do it just like that. And then you put your finger there and just pull it off. Just like, ow, shoot. There you go, just like that. And it looks something like that. Now you've got this end that's sticking up. All you want to do is just take and just kind of roll it back onto the, uh, roll it back onto the pliers, just like that. Look, that's what you got. You with me? All right. Here's where the magic happens. You take your tassels. You take this tool and you just open it up. Look at there. Ain't that pretty? You fit all that in. Just like that. And you hug it right up. Close enough. Close to that pencil as you possibly can. And what you want to do is you just want to work this thing off. And if it rolls, it's totally fine. It's easier to do it if I bring it close. Just work it down. Just like that. Perfect. All right. And there you have it. Now what you want to do is take this and you want to roll it over that rubber band right there and then you're done. Just like that. All right. Look at that. And that's it. All done. Very simple to do. Very simple to do. Now there's one more step you can do. You do not have to do this. But if you want to store this for later, all you want to do is just take this out. And that's why I got this straw. You're going to take this straw and stick it through the same hole. Just work it through. Just like that where it's sticking out the end there. And I just take the scissors and just cut it. What that does is, it just keeps everything from flattening it out. That way when you get ready to tie your uh, your band set onto it, you don't have to sit there and fight it. I mean, it just keeps it round for you. And you can just take this and store it, just like I've got these. I've done the same thing to every one of these. And that is basically it. It's that simple. It's not complicated. And all you got to do is just, whenever you're ready, just take your band set and just attach it to the bottom. And that's it. But you can make these. You can store a bunch of them. Now, one quick thing here, um, there are different ways to do this. Um, I like to fray mine out, but um, when I say fray, I mean like that. Um, I found it to be better for me. Now, you can, at this point, you can take and unravel all this yourself. Just leave the black on. It'll unravel too. Or you can start it and just pop it, you know, a couple dozen times and it'll unfray itself. It's however you want to do it. It's super simple. Even someone that shoots TTF can do it. <laughs> Listen, taters, again, I want to put the challenge out to you. If there's an easier way that you come up with to make a tassel, let me know in the comments, post me a video or something, and I'll be sure to highlight it on all of my platforms. But with that said, we're going to wrap this thing up. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel. Got some great things coming up. It's going to be awesome, tater. But until we meet again, be kind to each other. and Get out there and bust some cans. We'll see you next time. Yep. All right. That's a wrap. <laughs> Later, Tater.